Hello everyone, Creative Venus here. Today I'm going to create a beautiful PowerPoint presentation design using Affinity Designer and PowerPoint. In today's day and age, we should find ways to create amazing things. And I always use multiple tools to get the best output. In the end, it is all about getting the job done. I always find myself drawn to creating something unique. In this design, I've centered my focus on constructing a neon style, smart AI driven city. I particularly adore the signboard labeled Smart City with its blinking lights. I've always been fond of these, especially when they illuminate the night outside stores. It creates a very relaxed atmosphere. I have designed this in Affinity Designer and then exported to PowerPoint for animation. As you can see, this city has buildings and trees. I will show you how to create a building and similarly, other buildings can be created. Let's begin with the tutorial. All right, friends, here we have the Affinity Designer interface. I've utilized the pen tool to craft a vertical line. Now, what I'm about to do is fill the stroke with a gradient color. Ensure the gradient type is set to linear, flowing from top to bottom. Simply follow along with what I'm demonstrating on the screen. In the meantime, if you enjoy our content, feel free to subscribe to our channel. You'll notice the gradient stops at the edges of the line. I've adjusted their opacity to zero. This will render the edges transparent, seamlessly blending the overall line with the background. You can employ this technique in your presentations to add a personalized and captivating touch to the design. Next, duplicate this line by pressing Ctrl J, shift it to the right, and continue duplicating it by pressing Ctrl plus J multiple times to create copies. Once that's done, group them together and rotate the group by 90 degrees to form this appealing grid. Now let's apply another gradient color to the stroke of this grid. Ensure the radial type is set to elliptical. Once again, set the opacity of the gradient stop at the edge to zero. This produces a lovely vignette effect. Establishing the base of our design upon which I'll construct the smart city. To begin, select the isometric grid. Affinity Designer excels in designing isometrics, providing this default grid. There you go. Now let's dive into creating the buildings. To create the building, insert a rectangle and orient it towards the right side. Ensure that you have selected Edit in Plane from the isometric menu. Now, as you can see on the screen, I am applying a gradient color fill. The gradient type should be linear and arranged vertically. Once you have applied the gradient color, duplicate the rectangle and flip it, then position it as shown on the screen. Next, duplicate and flip it again to extend the building. Duplicate this main rectangle once more, flip it and place it on the left side forming the face of the building in an isometric form. However, the colors need to be adjusted to ensure the lighting appears natural on the building. I will use a layer called Adjustment Layer to adjust the exposure on the walls. Utilize the Gradient Fill tool and apply the gradient to all the rectangles. Ensure that you have selected the gradient type as linear. What we will do is apply the same gradient style to all four rectangles. After that, we will use adjustment layers to adjust the exposure so that the lighting appears natural. Now you can see that the gradient is the same on all the rectangles. We need to apply adjustment layers to enhance natural light and exposure. To do that, navigate to the Layers panel, where you'll find the option to add adjustment layers. Choose the exposure layer and apply it to the rectangle facing left. Decrease the exposure by moving the slider to the left. Repeat the same process to apply the exposure layer to the leftmost rectangle. Now you can observe that the exposure and light blend seamlessly. This is precisely what I aimed for. Now, let's craft the windows of the building. The simplest method is by adding a square and then creating copies to form a pattern. In Affinity Designer, Ctrl plus J is used to duplicate objects. Once the initial copy is placed, repeatedly pressing Ctrl plus J will generate copies in a pattern. To add visual interest, I've applied a dark blue color to the windows. 
After stacking and arranging all the windows, I'll illuminate some of them with light. This will enhance the realism of the scene. Quite intriguing, isn't it? Now that all the windows are stacked, let's create a highlighted effect on one of the windows. Then, I'll apply a similar effect to a few other windows as well. Start by selecting a window and filling it with white color. Now it should have a subtle glow to enhance realism. To achieve this, navigate to the FX or Effects panel and select Inner Glow. You'll find a cog button where you can adjust options like radius and glow color. Experiment with these settings to achieve the desired effect. Avoid making the glow too intense as it may look unnatural. Once the glow is added, copy the window and paste the style onto the other selected windows. As you can see, all the windows are looking perfect. Simply duplicate and flip the windows, then position them on the left wall. Once they're placed, repeat the process for the right and last left walls as well. Also, change the windows with white glowing lights to make them appear natural. Now that the walls are ready, let's create the roof. You can either use multiple rectangles and merge them or draw the roof manually. To save time, I'm using the pen tool. Simply draw with the pen tool. It's very easy in Affinity Designer, especially with the snapping feature. After drawing, fill the gradient on the top part of the roof. Take your time to adjust the flow of the gradient. Once done, try using an adjustment layer to set the exposure. This will help balance the overall tone of the building. Always ensure that the gradient angle aligns with the color flow on the walls. Now, you can add the adjustment layer by navigating to the Layers panel, selecting New Adjustment Layer, and then choosing Exposure. Adjust the exposure and observe the output. To me, this looks good. Now, let's design the top part. How about adding a helipad sign? I'll incorporate two rounded squares, adjust the opacity, and then place the H sign. You can customize it further with elements like a garden, swimming pool, statue, and more. Additionally, I'm using rectangles to create the H sign. But you can also type the H alphabet. This design process isn't difficult. It took me about 15 minutes to design this building and 30 minutes for the entire city. If you're interested in creativity and learning how to design things, then this video is beneficial for you. This is how you can design a symbol. It's incredibly easy to create isometric designs using Affinity Designer. Once placed, change the color of the H sign to white, and the building design is complete. So here's the building, and it looks great. Similarly, you can use this as the main building design and create the surrounding buildings and environment according to your requirements. The rest of the buildings are designed by reusing all the components from the main building, including walls and windows, along with a similar color scheme. Now, I've exported the design as an image to PowerPoint. Additionally, I've created a slide template with a rounded rectangle on the left for the title and call to action, and added animation to the two rounded rectangles to rotate in loops. Also, the Smart City graphic is blinking. You can create wonderful personalized designs using any tool, whether it's AI-driven or personalized graphics tools. Please subscribe, like, and share the videos. Join our membership and find us on Patreon. We'll see you in our next video with something even more beautiful.